Welcome to Steph Reacts. We are going to react to Roast This Episode 5 featuring Doughboy. Before I begin, I just would like to share a bit of motivation to you guys to know that you can do anything you put your mind to. Just if you put in the hard work, the effort, anything is possible. So, with that being said, let's go! And if you if you don't know why I decided to re-upload these content once again, I decided to do that so I wouldn't have any problems in terms of monetization in the future when I do decide to monetize this YouTube channel. So I will be posting, re-uploading everything with my commentary, so it wouldn't be any issue with that. Okay, thank you guys. I have three. Are we live? Are we live? We live. We live. Welcome to another episode of Rose This. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis, and I'm never alone. I'm always with my brothers, my brethren, starting from the right to the left to the left to your right, all the way from Detroit, Michigan. Y'all give it up for Chris CP. Right up under the CP, man, or he could be right up under me. I never know. But that mud, but well, my nigga here, I was gonna say that motherfucking nigga, here, but my niggas here, all the way from Sacramento, California, Swagamento. Y'all give it up for Doughboy, Anthony Doughboy, Belcher, aka Doj6. Come on, man. Come Dope on. Doughboy back Dope in the building. Back. What's up, brothers? Doughboy Belcher. Good to be Always back. Good to see you, dog. Yeah. And last but not good least, you, man, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, he been with us since day one of the new season. All the way from Atlanta, man, he always blessed. Matter of fact, he blessed it. Oh, y'all give it up for Ronnie Jordan. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Honored, honored oh, to be in a room full of full of killers. You know what I'm saying? It's, killer, yeah. man. You know when the right. snipers, hey. the snipers know each other. You know what I'm saying? Come on, exactly. Come on. Come on. And last, and last but not least, I about to do you. Never seen, <laughs> but always in between. My nigga Dean, y'all give it up for Kadeem, man. In the Bilo, CP, oh, Ronnie, hey, and for my dog, all the way from Cobb County. Hey, from a surveillance video from Seven Eleven, nineteen <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up, man? Man, no oh, boy. What's up with your teeth, man? Fix the, that green screen got you shining. Hey, there man. You go. To... There you go. There you go. No, I think it's no, hey, man. Life, hey, know? so look. The thing tonight is I got to think of a bunch of different names for Doughboy because I like that Doe J Simpson, but I'm going to okay. try to beat it tonight. Paul. Yeah. Do you know there's been a million new nickname alerts? I got He no is new nickname names. alert. Doe Montana. Hey, how about uh, Dolce and Gabbana? Not Ooh. bad, not bad, not bad. Like, not bad. Hey, that was too hard. <laughs> no, hard to be hey, this, you know what? this is proving to be a little harder than I thought. I can't think of anything right <laughs> hey, now. That was hard. Right? <laughs> Vinci code. Hey, I like that. I like damn it, y'all are good. Wait a minute, nope. goddamn it, slow down. Don't be Hey, hey, Dose Dose Station Five. What about Dozy Cat? Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> what about those cat? My skin thick, motherfucker. All right, come on. Oh, Yo, CP, did you have baby hair in front of your your braids, bro? That yeah, baby nigga, hair? that's a privilege, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel 42 me? Forty two with baby hair. Okay, cool. Hey, man, I'm with you. I'm with. I got. I got a little bit of. It's, it's, oh, it's nigga, there ain't no baby hair, nigga. Those are some nursing home hairs. I <laughs> got that hat off the most. I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> Let me see your hair, dope boy. 
Hey, hey, I don't know, bro. Is that all forehead or did you create that? Is that a man made yeah. lake? Is that a man made lake? I don't know. And then God don't get nobody that much forehead. That's a lot to think about. That's a lot to think about. Hey, Doughboy look like one of Magic Johnson homeboys on winning time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, got that big ass Bonneville uh windshield forehead. <laughs> welcome to welcome to Los Angeles, man. Diamond in the back, sunroof <laughs> top. Like, right, real, quick, real quick, though, real quick, real quick, real quick, man. Nobody had a lineup in the If set, you're watching bro, this live right now, make sure you share this live with your friends and click the star to follow and watch all up all the up. Oh shit. Uh, upcoming shows live here on caffeine man and also make sure you follow everybody right now on this live mine's is big bang lewis that's comedian cp that's at ronnie jordan doughboy what's your uh caffeine bro i am doughboy d-o-b-o-y i doughboy am caffeine is mountain dew and coca-cola <laughs> <laughs> and also make sure that you guys watch every Wednesday. That's right. Every Wednesday on the All Depth page, Roast Me Season 5, the classroom edition, streams live here for free. So tell a friend to tell a friend to click, subscribe, download, whatever you got to do to get the caffeine app to watch every episode of Roast Me Season 5, the classroom edition. It's eight episodes. We won down. We got seven more to go. CP comes back episode three. Ronnie Jordan will be there episode three. And Doughboy and myself are there every episode, Lord hey, willing. Doughboy, Doughboy, that dog so sick of eating leftovers. All he wanted is some goddamn kibble and some water. <laughs> You understand me? You don't, don't even need the bitch. No. You don't need the bitch. Not a Pepsi dog, man. That dog ain't shit straight since you got it. <laughs> this nigga don't understand the nutrition of an animal. That dog be like, you ain't gonna put no grits on these. <laughs> hey, this is a vicious killer, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You gotta put king. grits on dog food for him to eat it. We're like, nah, I don't want this shit. It ain't hot. <laughs> also, YouTube and Facebook, y'all watch on there. We about to go and cut that stream. Go ahead, go ahead, be loop. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, my no. bad. Good looking, Dave. I'll say, no, man, if you're watching this right now on YouTube or Facebook, you have about mm, five minutes, I'll say. I'll say about five minutes before we cut that stream off. So go ahead. If you're watching this on YouTube and on Facebook, make sure you go over to Caffeine right now. Go to your app store. Download Caffeine. Make your account. It's absolutely free. Follow all depth and continue to watch this stream every Tuesday and watch Roast Me Season 5 every Wednesday for the next eight Wednesdays. It will be hey. on Caffeine Live. B. Lou wearing his hat like, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga looking like Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. We just want to kick some fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> we kick some fucking ass. I still want to kick. Nigga, dog, uh, hey. Nigga, hey, this nigga be looking like he got a one little fighter. This mom got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of it, good segue. Here we go. Let's get into it. We talking oh, about or what? We doing it? Oh, good go ahead, segue. Slap, man. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. Are we gonna do it? Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll read. I'll read it. Jada Pinkett Smith came out, I guess, today and said, "Uh, she is. Uh, well." She she wishes Will Smith didn't slap Chris Rock at Oscars, and they agree he overreacted. Also, what was that last part, though, that you said? That she didn't need a man to protect her? She's a strong woman. I think that was on the another. Let me verify she that's what she, she did said. She not need to be protected. She's not a woman that needs protection. The thing is with that, that makes Will Smith look like a fool because I think Will Smith did all of this just to show that, to show Jada that she loves that he loves her and for her to turn her back and say this publicly it makes will look like a fool to be honest because i feel as though the whole situation with august and everything happened at the red table cost cost will to react like this because it's all jada fault to be honest and she just made it worse in my opinion so let me get this straight. Hold on, so this real quick. Hold on, hold on, real quick. For you and you turn your back on the nigga the first month. Oh, real man. quick, real quick, real quick for the listeners, real quick. This is the topic portion of the show, and we're gonna do this like around the horn. So if you guys have ever seen ESPN around the horn, this is how we're gonna do the topic session from moving now on. So with that being said, after Dean runs it down, man, we're gonna go to each and every individual 
on the show to get their opinions and thoughts on each and every topic that's put on the screen. Now, with that being said, hey, Dean just you? dropped the first topic, and we're going to go with CP. CP, give us your thoughts, man. First of all, why are you yelling, my nigga? Like, I'm so scared. Yeah, this nigga say, nigga, like, he auctioning these niggas off. Will Smith, Will Smith, go up for five. And Daddy Pika go up, and they slap. And Daddy... No, real talk. <laughs> I think uh, that's fucked up, bro. I think that... Yeah, we all know Will overreacted. Nigga, we all know Will overreacted. The only person who shouldn't know that Will overreacted is the motherfucker who he smacked him for. It's like, fam, come on. You can't do that. Like, you, like, I, to me, I'm looking at it like she's my woman. You my woman, dog. Like, we own the Titanic to this bitch go now. I don't want to hear, like, like, wow. Oh, God. It's so much. It's, it's like she's such a false. Man, I'm going to tell you something, dog. I'm about to go another way with it. Niggas better be careful, man. You better work it out with your with your with your first wife, dog. Nigga be trying to up their wife game. And it's like, dog, this shit ain't worth it. And I'm watching from the outside looking in, and I'm telling you, that nigga frustrated, bro. That nigga frustrated, dog. Extremely. Chris Rock, if you're not frustrated, he wanted to slap Jada. That's what he said. He said, I told you to wear the goddamn uh one of them funeral hats or something. You we, we sitting up front. We sitting up front. Wear some shit with the veil or something. No, you up here looking like uh uh Frankenstein Pharrell. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, that's CB point of view. Dumb boy, what you think about the situation, man? That unveil with uh Hotel right. Transylvania. Go ahead. All right, y'all know I'm the king of nicknames, so new nickname alert: Jada Narcissist Smith. She has got to be the biggest narcissist ever. She humiliates her husband at every single chance that she can. Even when he, bro, when he was walking up to that stage, he looked like he didn't have control over himself. Like, that was weird to see. Like, she gave him that look. Then she laughed after he got hit. And you can't just take one for the team. All she had to do was be like, I stand by my husband. Whatever type time my husband on, I'm on that time. Don't ask me how I feel. Ask my husband. Like, what the fuck is she doing? Like, now the nigga August Alcina just signed a six-figure deal to write a tell-all book. Oh, they got my nigga. They got Mike Lowry out here down bad, bro. And six then figures? Nigga, nigga, six figures, bro. Nigga, that's nothing. Nigga, for that tell-all? Give me that's all, eight That's ball. all it can get. That's all it can get. Give me the eight ball. Give me 10 million for that story. <laughs> oh, oh, get he ain't got, he got much leverage. That. I think Jada has some type of control over him that I've never seen a person have over another person. I just they're showing old clips about when he like threw her 40th birthday. He planned it for three years and she told him it was shit. And it was like, like, why would you tell somebody that planned something for three years? Even if you didn't like it, you can't be like, this is the greatest. First of all, my thing is you cannot make an individual happy. The individual, I don't care who you are, you have to be happy for yourself. You have to make yourself happy in order to um, make somebody else happy. You cannot make somebody happy because if you do that, you're going to be, you're going to fail in the relationship. That's just my opinion. Because you, three, 36 months. Jade is a little bit too much, bro. I can't, I'm hopping off. The jet, like this, this is too far, bro. Like she's she's taking this narcissism to new heights. It's it's a lot. Ronnie Jordan, hey, give a quick thoughts on the situation. Hold on, hold on. Anybody else don't trust them Hollywood women with them big ass cheekbones right here? Mom, man. I, I'm with you, bro. Bruh, what are they doing? Like, like, like know. after the first four women became cats, why would everybody just keep going to the same? Yeah, what the bro. fuck is going on with these bitches? Every woman who got these bitches is fucking crazy. I agree. Yeah. Ronnie Jordan. <laughs> what you got, Ronnie? It's on me. Yes, sir. I, I just feel like <clears throat> I just feel like she broke the fresh prince, man. She broke the fresh prince, and we see to him. He can't even heal all the way because he ain't finished. It's still happening right now. Like they can't even reset because it's still happening. It's taking a year to get this far. And uh, you can't come on the red table with your legs folded, talking about you was in an entanglement, and everything just be cool. And then you drop a new Tupac letter every goddamn Valentine's Day, like an unreleased <laughs> Tupac. Come on, dog. Like, do you like? Do you hate me? Like, 
Like you, you, you killing the Fresh Prince spirit. He, he really thought he was in Bel Air on at the Oscars. He was like, I got to step this shit up. Like, like he's gonna get a pill habit if y'all keep this shit up. Like y'all gonna, y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all fucking up Aladdin for my kids. It's like it's, it's too much, man. It's, and it's sad because it's like black men. We can't even get no love, no goddamn where. It's, it looked like that's what it looked like. It's like this nigga did everything. You know, this woman hollered about not being feeling protected and shit all on the red table. Now she won't need to be protected. I think he jumped up because she gave him the look. That's she gave him the look. She gave him the look like it's gonna be hell for you when we get home if you don't do nothing. So, but, but, Ronnie, Ronnie, can I ask both of you guys a question? Because both of you guys are married. So, if if somebody made a joke about your wife, and I'm assuming there's a look that comes from the wife, how do you react in those situations? Like, do you is it instant like that, or is it calm rage? Or like, what's the reaction if All somebody? Right. It's my wife wouldn't let me go out bad like that. My wife would be like, "Chill, you got it." You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like right. we'll just okay. win. We'll just right. win, and then we'll we'll do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I was about to say, like, my wife. And I'm about to leave sometimes me. the best reaction is no reaction. Yeah. Go ahead, be like, my wife not about to let me fuck up the money. First of all, right. Mm. Second of all, you confront a nigga in front of everybody because you want somebody to stop it. If you really want the fade, you can meet a nigga anywhere. Anywhere. Yes. Well, nigga, we in Hollywood. Nigga, I see your ass at uh, at Barry's Pizza. Fuck we your ass. We fight up. every week, nigga. Let's fight every Tuesday for two months, okay? <laughs> oh. Every Tuesday, nigga, four o'clock. Do you, think he thought, do you think he thought he was going to get stopped? And then when he realized he I, didn't, he was like, fuck I, it. I think it was backlash from 2016 when we was going through this real shit with the police killing us and Will Smith yes. didn't going to the Oscars. And nice. Chris Rock went on there. Saying what he said about the I only black Spanish. people not to go to the goddamn Oscars. Mm. Right. And then I feel like I feel like it's a build up and then it's a build up. I don't think twenty sixteen has anything to do with it. I think the issue with the internet, all of the internet was talking about will, Jada, rare table talk, entanglement, all of that. I think that's what caused Will Smith to react. And the only, the only thing, the only reason why 2016 got brought up is because of the slap after the fact. But I don't think 2016 have anything to do with it. Sorry. A look, it's a lot of shit. And then Algas Alcina, people forget about this. I remember Breakfast Club had a story. Algas Alcina got sued for breaking a girl's vagina. So you mix that with the nigga who break vaginas. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, damn. Real quick, real quick, real Hold quick, real I'm quick. I'm going to go ahead and get the... Uh, I'm going to pull quick. up the source material now. I gotta, I'm going to look that one up. Go ahead, go That's ahead. Crazy, uh, go ahead, Real quick, guys, while we on this topic, man, everybody watching right now, we're going to throw a poll in the comment section. Let us know, should Will leave oh, Jada oh, or we should did it. Will we already did it. out? We already, we, did, we already did it, Bilou. Right now in the comment section. We, did, we got the poll already, Bilou. They got the poll. We got the poll already. Bilu is so lost right now. Oh my goodness. Look at CP. <laughs> CP is like, shut up, man. Shut up. Paul already done, Bilu. Your ass wasn't yelling. <laughs> Paul done, Bilu. Oh, if you look at the chat right now. I want to be a part of something. It's going to be a poll. It's going to be three days long. We're going to be there. Stone Cold Steve Stunner is going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> the poll we was. Have the we, the have the we have the results in the chat right now. Of course, it, even y'all can even see the, the uh, results in the uh, the private chat inside the thing right there. It says the uh, will will uh, will should leave Jada at thirty two and will should thug it out at ten. So it looked like everyone for yeah, he needs to go ahead and get up on out of there. Yeah, you got to. At you got to get up point, out of there. You got to choose happy at some point, my nigga. God, like, damn. at this point, you fucking up your draft stock. Ain't no other bitch gonna want you. They gonna have to abuse you. <laughs> <laughs> you over there with goddamn cheekbone Jones. You better get the fuck away. Cheekbone Jones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but she still like Piccolo though. That's the thing. It's Piccolo pictures all over the house and shit. Like that shit got to fuck with your mental every day. If you got Tupac real Polaroids up, that shit is so. That's crazy. I cannot have my girl. I can't even have my girl, let alone my wife, have a picture of her ex and always be talking about this nigga. That's not normal. You, uh, That's not normal. We Leos, bro, boy. Go, boy. We Leos, bro. Chill. We, we know that. We Leos, bro. Nigga, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> nigga, look. Will I'm Smith. an Aries, nigga. And my Will wife, Smith. the nigga who my wife used to fuck is dead to everybody. We don't fuck. We don't know him. He dead. <laughs> That's just, that's wild. You can't say that as a lazy eye, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we did it. We did it. 
I offer myself. Like, wait a minute. Oh, Hold on. Nigga, I is unemployed like a motherfucker. Nigga, <laughs> damn. Nigga, statue of limitations, my baby. It's I get Baby. Right, biggity boy. Oh, I think that I tell you what, any nigga who ever saw it. I'm like, whoa. Hold on, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my eye was like, you need to chill, bro. Stop. Yeah. Hold on, my baby. My eye was like, uh-uh. he was, my eye was like I ain't in it. I ain't in it. Yo, I was like, Jada, we don't need protection. First my of all, like, oh, I'm going to get the other eye. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean. Dean. Yes, sir. It's like, time to put a Hey, hey, I'm excited for this one. I'm ex- well, actually, I'm not excited for this one. This one was kind of weird. I'm not going to front. I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, let's go. I thought I already you on that shit. I guess y'all want to. Y'all want to. Oh, I think we just lost Ronnie for a quick It's second. like when Pookie was dancing in New Jack City. Come on, bitch. Hey. <laughs> so, so, y'all want to hear this one real quick? Y'all wanna, let's go with this one. Hey, I just came to kick some fucking ass. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's go with this one. Y'all remember this? Yeah, let's go with this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. Please okay. do. I'm, I'm yeah. just going to let y'all hear it. I'm not even really going to explain it. I just want y'all to listen to what her words were That's and my man's true. reaction. Let's do it. As a single mom, yeah, I got this shit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got it. I ain't calling her dad. You can, yeah, you, you, I'll, I'll die starving on the road okay. before I call her dad. Vex. Vex. So I'm like, Vex. you know what? Vex. I'm Straight all up. the That's way the dumbest up shit here. Ever. Say it again. Look, 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 look. Look. That's the dumbest shit ever. Hey, Jay, let her rock out for a little bit. We could, we could, we could, we could digest that. We could yeah. digest that later. Let her rock out. Let's finish the story. Okay. Keep trying to fuck. Story. I'm gonna die on the side of the road before I call your dad to help. Yeah, it's kind of wild, but go ahead. As a wow. Y'all thoughts on her saying that? Oh man, this young generation of females need to realize that doing that can affect the kid because if you if the child do not have a father figure in their life, I'm speaking from experience that can mess up the child. Because growing up with one parent is really, really rough. I must tell you. So I, I don't I don't agree with that thinking at all. She she needs to grow up to be honest, in my opinion. Let me go first. Let me go first with this. All right, B Lou, go go ahead. That's the dumbest shit ever. But the sad thing about it, a lot of women in my like world. This. A lot of women in my world, I'm not going to say that I know, well, that I know too, but I'm not going to say, I'm not just going to vaguely say all women, but a lot of women I know and a lot of homies that I know that deal with these type of women have this mindset and it's the dumbest shit ever. And it's a mindset that fucks up the real relationship between a child and his father. That's the dumbest shit ever because the pride of a woman is, is like basically uh drowning this bitch or drowning this bitch to think that that's the mindset that she should take on in order to survive or to succeed without the healthiness of the relationship that was once that was once was that's dumb as shit is uh is toxic it's just fucked up bro that shit is dumb as hell and women women with that mindset are dumb bro like my thing is this my thing is this i'm not i'm not even gonna call the young the, the young lady dumb you know what i'm saying I think what she said was dumb as fuck. And, you know, women like that look dumb as fuck trying to uh, defend that kind of behavior. But like B. Lou said, the person who really gets hurt is the kid. And it almost has the feel like the mother is she finds some kind of pride in the fact that she's doing it alone. Don't say you're doing it alone when you're not letting the father help. Don't sit up there and say you a single mother doing it all by yourself if you're not even going to like try to include the father it's like she's doing it for clout and a lot of these women is out here parenting for clout and it's like what the fuck like it's not about you it's about the kid you know what i'm saying and a lot of these women they had that you know what i'm saying some of them didn't a lot of them had that they don't even realize what they're um like Making their child devout of, bro. I don't know if I use that right. You know what I'm saying? I know it's some grammar here. But it's like, it's like, man, like, you know how much, put it like this that child is just as much that father's child as it is yours, right? Now, it ain't got nothing to do with who get the visitation rights and all that. It's about knowing yourself. And the only way that you can know yourself is to observe the people who you come from. You gotta give it to CP Radio because he's speaking facts, to be honest. That is something I'm speaking from experience because growing up, 
you you would actually all right let, let's say put it like this if you do not have your father or mother in your life you still want to know why they are not in your life and you want to figure out where they are if they're not physically in your life you want to um you will find yourself in a situation looking on social media to see if you can find them because you want that you know and if you have family members that have two parents and everything you just you just will feel odd you know especially as a young person that can affect the mind that can affect you emotionally to be honest i agree with cp radio i know a lot of people who you know didn't have a relationship with their dad and there's so many things that they don't know about they self yeah genetics are a real thing you're not wrong cp genetics are a thing bro like we Man. We really are our parent, you know, we're the offspring of somebody who actually already went through a lot of things. Our behaviors, right. our the way we act, certain certain things, like that all comes from our parents. I could be a way that is like my dad. And if my mom don't let me see my dad, we don't even understand what the fuck is going on. Right. Meanwhile, my dad, like, oh yeah, I did that when I was a kid, man. That's all you gotta do, da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man, like you already had the child. Where was this kind of restraint at when you shouldn't have been fucking the nigga in the first place? Mm, that part, dope boy. What you got to say about this? G, good shit. Yeah, bro, I, I hate it when I, I hate it when I see things like this. I just feel like more than anything is sad for the kid. Like you know what I mean? Because you got a parent that will let their child suffer physically and sometimes even emotionally when they don't let the father be a part of their child's life because of some personal vendetta. I think it's just, I just wish in our community we could kind of reverse that because I, I've seen friends and family members. You know what I'm saying? Be kept out of their kids' lives for shit like this. Like, I just don't see how anybody can have pride in letting their child suffer when you could get assistance for like I, that. Just on no levels would that make any sense to me. So I just think that it's sad for the child involved. And hopefully, you know, like like CP said, I won't call the woman dumb. I feel like she's emotional. You know, I feel like when people do emotional, they act emotional. I just feel like maybe if she thought a little bit more rationally about it, she would see, hey, this is this is for my my child. So reg regardless of how I feel about it. I want to make sure you know what's the best thing for my child will happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's uh, and that's a very valid point too. Ron, uh, Ron, I'm sorry, did Ronnie see the video? Ronnie, have, did you see it? You want to run it back? No, what was the video? What was okay, the let, me show, let me show the video to Ronnie real quick. It's a short video, so we'll just go ahead and pull it up oh, real I quick. Single mom. Yeah, I got the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. got it. I ain't calling her dad. You can. Yeah, you, you. I'll, bitch. I'll die starving on the road okay. before I call her dad. Sex. So Thanks. I'm like, Thanks. you know what? Thanks. I'm all the That's way the up shit here. Ever. Say it again. Say it again. That's the dumbest Thanks. shit ever. Hey, Jay, let him rock out yeah. a little bit. We could, we, could, we could digest that. We could digest that later. Six. Let him rock out. Let's finish the story. Okay. Story. I'm gonna die on the side of the road before I call your dad to okay, help. Okay, because I'm gonna yeah, tell you why. Yeah, it's kind of wild, but go ahead. Because Real quick, Ronnie, real quick, Ronnie, before uh, before we get Ronnie's thoughts on it, man, right now we got a poll in the comment section that says, I'd rather die starving or I or I will call my baby father or my baby dad, baby dad slash mom. Or my baby right mom or baby, both sides saying, of it. Yeah. Right now the poll is 11 to 21 with the uh, 21 being in favor of the dads. So right now the dads are winning, as they should, in my opinion. But Ronnie, you know, kid, ain't no kid. When no child ever agree to that shit, they mama talking like, "Bitch, are you for real?" Like, <laughs> hey, you like, what are you, you talking you about? about it like this? They be saying that the daddy ain't shit. That means that the baby is half ain't shit too. <laughs> and this and this who you picked though. This is who you lay with now. At some point, he was something. Facts. Yeah, Facts. it could be something before you die. I think he could be something before your kid die. Like that's some stupid shit. Sometimes we, people be just popping for this internet, and then they don't know they don't think over the shit they saying. And uh, when the, when a real person with some logic and some discernment answers back, it's like, oh, he he he, he toxic. Like, nigga, no, you're stupid. You should, <laughs> that's why I think you should have license to have vaginas and shit, like ovaries and stuff like that to reproduce. Like, you gotta have a license to get a car, but anybody can have a kid. Like, that's that's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Valid point. That's a, that's a valid point. Yeah, these these girls will be losing they niggas will be losing their cooches and balls and shit off my balls. Goddamn last week in court, man. These niggas. <laughs> <laughs> niggas got my balls, 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 balls nuts, man. My motherfucking back child support. Niggas that give their balls up so quick just to keep <laughs> their dead. Like nigga, fuck them nuts, nigga. Shit, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. get you up on his butt. Shit. Oh, did y'all hear about this? Anyway. 
Did y'all hear about the pill they coming out with? Yeah. I ain't y'all touching it. Yeah. No. Nope. They put a picture of you next to the side effects. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, CP. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my nigga CP strikes again. Matter of fact, D, if you can never do me so kindly, it's time to put that fake sweet stuff All right, but before we start, <laughs> let's look at the comments a little bit, just real quick. Of the comments, everyone. Oh, yeah, man, this, this, this has been crazy. I, the next story is even crazier than this one. Shockingly enough, I can top this one with the next story that we got. Y'all ready? Let's yeah. go, Dan. All right, well... Um, let me I'll read the thing. DMV rapper, good news. Family held his funeral in a club. And when you did that, they actually had his ass up there on stage. First of all, this is so bad and creepy to look out because respect to the dead people, man. Respect respect but i understand both sides but really wow i understand most persons don't like the funeral funeral the crying and everything like that and the thing is a lot of people want to be remembered for for the things that they did you know but it's just weird i cannot get over the fact to look at a dead person what if the person falls everyone would run Oh my goodness, I can't think about it. But ah, uh, check it out. I, I have no words. I have I'm no words for this. I got All right, right now, okay. Right now, real quick, man. We're going to start this off with Doughboy, man. Doughboy, give us your thoughts on this, man. I have a very unique take on this, okay? You are frozen I, right now, okay. Doughboy, but we can if, hear you. Yeah, we uh, you lagging a little bit. You lagging a little bit, but we can't hear you, so that's fine. Keep okay. going. You, okay, you got to go. take out one of the necklaces. I got you. I got you. Here we go. I could, If 100% is the maximum that you could support something, I would support this 100,000%. I think this is genius. I think this is great because, Pete, I don't like going to funerals because when I go to funerals, for whatever reason, I remember people like in the – it just it throws me off. I really don't like it. So if I could see so, like a loved one doing something I remember them doing, I think that would be super dope. And you know what I'm saying? If that happened to me, like they could put me next to a buffet chilling. Like I just think it would be cool. I think it's dope, and I think people should look more into it. I think it's – I the think at your funeral, no boy. I think at your funeral, you should be the ice cream machine mechanic at a McDonald's, and they just had you up <laughs> under there, with your feet hanging out, and everybody be like, "Oh my way," you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the ice cream machine mechanic. It was always broke. He was always mad. He fixing it now. <laughs> Listen, Not man. Him fixing it. Jesus. My bad, no boy. Are you done, bro? No. no, no. CB is one of the goats. Oh yeah, I just I think it's a great idea, and I was really I thought it was dope. I thought that that was super cool, and I think it would make funerals way cooler. It would up the attendance in funerals. Okay. CP. So the next time I go to that club and I get drunk and I bust out crying because my boy was just dead right here. <laughs> the next time I see somebody in that goddamn Amiri hoodie. <laughs> and I bust out crying because I got buried in that damn hoodie. Them sweet ass shoes that came out when the red ones or the blue ones dropped. I got listen, man. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck are we doing, bro? So somebody get to fighting in the club and he fall over. Oh. <laughs> it's like dog. Hey, this is okay. Yeah. Everyone would run. I guarantee you, even as homies. Yeah, he up there like a fucking side. <laughs> hey, that shit gonna be all good till they gotta move him and leave. He <laughs> be lit, lit, embalming fluid all over the goddamn place. That is, it's a safety hazard. It is a safety move, hazard. There's a dead body in there. Hey, when they he, gotta move this nigga, everybody gonna be high. They are gonna be like, oh my god, like that nigga move. They gonna have a nigga on a little hand truck. No, <laughs> oh, somebody gonna miss them moving him. Come back from the bathroom. He gone. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> 
And then why they have him looking at everybody? He was mad. He was like, <laughs> that's because he dead, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no soul in that motherfucker. So then, ice first cold. of all, respect the dead, B. Lou. God damn, straight your head out. Ain't no soul in his head. You talk about, you talk about, he looking mean, nigga. I'm saying, nigga, right? Mean. But I'm saying, like, so throw a throw a lit facial feature on that nigga. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That shit's still soulless, man. Nobody want to see no soulless ass. <laughs> 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 better than him looking at everybody like this. <laughs> he looks so mad to be there. He's like, come on, man. He, you know he look like? You know how you hot niggas be having a young mama and they just make them do some shit? He wasn't around to tell her no. Put his ass right in the club with his favorite <laughs> outfit on. <laughs> Hey, I, bought hey, 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 I ain't gonna hold you though. I ain't gonna hold you. Them jeans with some bullshit. Them jeans didn't go with that Amiri though. <laughs> they jeans got, they got got with that the Listen, skinny jeans don't look, don't, they don't look sweet when you standing still. You gotta be able to move around and like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look at the DJ. The, D, the DJ looks spooked. <laughs> he do. <laughs> I just wanna see that like. The thing about this shit is your grandmama and your great grandmama probably still like, his grandma running that bit like, I can't believe they in here smoking weed. They, they busting backwoods. This backwood guts on the ground and shit. Like, nigga, that song is gonna trigger niggas now. Like, that, that's Atlantis. Hey, wait a minute. That's not even the DJ. I think he worked for the funeral home. He like, man, if this nigga fall, I'm still gonna You got the suit on, man. Nigga, man, not fall. He do. He do get some points taking the wife for the outfit, man. Because a black, a black crew neck don't go with light skin jeans, bro. That was a bad combination. That was a hoodie. That was a hoodie. That was a hoodie. That was a hoodie. <laughs> Yeah, look at the hand in the pocket. That's a hoodie. Oh, that yeah. hoodie is trash. But I ain't going to look at the hoodie. Yo, my nigga went out bad. He got a hand me, in his pocket. Why is his hand in his pocket? Because it's probably fucked up. He got it on his glizzy. He got his glizzy in now. <laughs> his thing, he got a glizzy. You know what I'm saying? He got a Man, he got the glizzy. Y'all watch jeans. Don't go with everything, bro. I don't give a fuck what y'all saying. Like, y'all better jeans. Don't hey, go listen, with everything, I don't, bro. Brandon, Is he holding his phone? Brandon Lewis. Brandon Lewis, do you He did have on his phone. Who he calling? Man, you gotta. This nigga lives in DC. You better be careful where you travel, cause this man got people. So you know. Oh no, I'm not disrespecting. Like, I'm just saying that was trash. But oh, it's so, it's, are trash. there Alvin is definitely trash. a roasting <laughs> section. It's somebody in the. It's somebody in the funeral roasting his shit right now. They like this again. I told you. Why fire your ass up? Why them jeans ain't like shit? Why? <laughs> 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 that nigga look like he is waiting for somebody to pass the backwood. Like, bro, if you don't quit blowing it, hey, 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 real quick, though, I got, I do got to retract that, man. Shout out to him and everybody in DC. Yeah, I, yeah, rest I will be in DC in yeah, May, man. So, uh, yeah. where, don't hold where, the gra- where your grandmama's is? Where the grandmama section at, CP? Like, did ask they, me this- what size jean I wear before y'all do some shit like this to me. <laughs> right. Cause I like to get my skinnies, but then go up a size so they look regular. Man, I, I, I got a process. Hey, but at the same time, hey, look, 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 hey, look, real quick though. But at the same time, to his family and friends, y'all niggas did this and they went viral. So don't get mad right. for niggas talking about it. This shit it's went viral. Good. Y'all did this shit for a reason. Yeah. This shit wasn't private. So don't take this shit personal. Cause do I because I do gotta start thinking about but shit. It, right it looked like it's a yeah, tall nigga. It looked like it's a tall nigga in black behind him holding him up with the thing. It looked like a nigga underneath that shit. <laughs> Shout out to him though. Matter of fact, I'm getting yeah. a little scared. I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> it's like a, hey, I'm like in DC. Hey, 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 I'm in DC. Hey, I'm in DC. I got five shows, man. I don't want no problem, man. I was going to be good. Shout out, to, right. shout out to Gnu. Gnu is the rapper's name. Shout out to him. Shout out to Rest in peace. Shout out to him. All right, hey, shout out to that boy. Hey, hey, I'm pussy. Soon. Hey, I'm pussy right now, so don't try me. I'm pussy right now. I ain't going to be pussy in person, but I'm pussy right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, they got Perkinson's at the repass and shit. Next time. All right. Next up. <laughs> next topic is we got the Georgia man arrested after his mother turning in for stealing worthless lottery tickets, eight thousand dollars worth of lottery tickets. I don't know why you would steal lottery tickets. I don't know how I that worthless works. If eight thousand dollars, that's a worth. And right. I mean, but he won nothing off of. He didn't win anything off the tickets. Uh, CP. None of those tickets well, actually got him any money. Turn- why did his mama turn him in? Because he ain't listen. shit to begin with. He, he, live, he look uh, at him. He's 40 years old. He at the house. Y'all missing the point. Somebody fucking cheating. How you get $8,000 worth of scratch-offs and none 80, of them just win? 80000 That's crazy, somebody, That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, yeah. 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 the store line. The dude at the store line. Yeah, hey. you bitches homemade. Nigga, how the fuck you get $8,000 worth of them bitches? Hey, man. And me and mama beefed out. Fuck you. 
Hey, hey I, approximately eighty seven hundred coming out of Newman, Georgia. Where's that at, B. Lou? Hey, Newman, Newman Georgia. Georgia. That's outside of Atlanta. That's outside okay. of Atlanta. That's the okay. Country. No. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, uh, no, it was scanned and playable. The tickets were would be worth approximately eighty seven hundred dollars. And uh, yeah, man, he um, stealing a large box of Georgia lottery tickets in in a stock room is what and he, he didn't is, win uh, nothing. Apparently, he didn't, man. Was, you want to make a shirt best combination? Win. Look at his shirt best combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that that's look at his face. Hey, look at that face. That's a, that's a face, but he got caught. <laughs> <laughs> he told that nigga to do something. He said, it, it ain't even my turn this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna go somewhere. You see what I got? I'm finna go somewhere. The thing about that, man, we got to do something about that, bro. You can't just steal something. And what's the whole purpose of stealing that, not winning, and your mom turning you in? What's the whole purpose of that? I don't know. Something don't sound right, though. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he definitely live at the house and play Call of Duty all day. Hey, real quick. Hey, real quick. This is funny as hell, man. Shout out to uh, the son. Is That's his name. At the son, he said he dressed like David Lucas. That was funny. Hilarious. <laughs> Shout out to the son. D-A-S-U-N. That, that nigga dressed like he went to go see. He going to see Donda. Hey, my nigga David Lucas was. <laughs> hey, my nigga David Lucas be fresh as hell for for. Hey, facts, nigga. Hey, David Lucas be fresh as a motherfucker. That nigga, you know, all kind of custom made shit. Yeah. Shout out and to big and Lucas. Tall. Lucas. He ain't even tall. That that, that, that nigga big and regular. <laughs> no, I, I, we got a few more topics. I'll be. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see here, y'all. I got a few more right here. I mean, we can throw this up on the screen. What do y'all think about? I mean, oh, what do y'all think about Madonna? Happened. Yeah, what's we'll the time? What do y'all think about Madonna? Right. Generally speaking, how y'all feel about Madonna? Nigga, another cheekbone, bitch. What's going yeah, let's on? Let's get into it. Then that's the case. And you hear all the cheekbones you get. Here we go. She looks like Japanimation. She looks that's like that's crazy, bro. This is crazy. What the hell, Madonna? That's scary. CBB, CBB, cheekbone, bitches. I don't know what's going on. Why are celebrities doing this to themselves when they reach a certain age? I don't know. You are naturally pretty. And you are messing up your body. Look at Lil Kim. Lil Kim was pretty. Look at her now. I'm sorry, but I gotta say it. Look at Nicki Minaj. As bad as it looks, as pretty as pretty as she is in the face. Look at her butt. It looks horrible. Look at Cardi B. They are trending in this direction. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, wrong with the industry. That they feel as though they need to do all these enhancements to get um notoriety. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It looks bad. <laughs> that, that was Madonna. That was Madonna. Yeah. Hey, look! Check this out. I, hey, look! I would be I would be so scared if she was doing this while I was asleep. You know how women or women to do this like kiss you while you sleep. I would be terrified if I woke up and seen her approaching with the kiss. I would be thinking out. Like, y'all, y'all remember Crossroads? <laughs> when a nigga was was touching niggas and he, he was dying, I, I would think that was. Right. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I ain't gonna I mean, lie though. You look like people on chicken breast. Madonna's the lips, these... though. The lips, boy. She like she go crazy on the dick. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> nah, <man. laughs> in the dark. At least, what, six, the way they, the way they <laughs> suck in, boy. She suck your motherfucking booty hole through your forehead. You know? <laughs> <laughs> As you oh. take your soul to the me, I'll have your Negro soul as well. How old is she? Can, can, can you fact check One that for thousand. me? Let me check out old Madonna is real, real quick. One. She should be, Madonna should be almost close to 60. I, I would guess 56. She has, she been in the industry long. But um, she shouldn't have done this though. I think she's 56. Oh, she's she's like Medusa. 63. 63 years old. She is 63 years old. She's good as fuck for 63. 63? Bro. Plastic surgery is a mug. Oh, wait, wait. She, she, get, she been sliced the hell up. No, boy, of course she looks good. She been, wait, she is how old? Oh, boy. She looks good. She looks head look like a snake. She looks good. 63? Nigga, she, nigga, I, nigga, I, I'd holler. <laughs> 63. 63 is way you, too uh, old. You've been in LA too long, my good. guy. 
That pussy got some miles on it, boy. <laughs> Nigga, that's the most unslappable face. If Will Smith slap her, she'd be like, you ready for another one? <laughs> <laughs> you slap her. Her face that is over. Are you ready room. for another one? <laughs> boy, that pussy got some miles on it, boy. You slap her. They do. That, that, he did, she did make for Dennis Robin back in the day. That face did. Gonna I think she married Dennis Robin. That face gonna come out like a Jason mask, goddamn. That motherfucker goes, the whole shit goes wild. She look like a screen mask right now. That shit crazy, dog. Why is she trying to chase you, bro? She look like a white bike seat with braids. God damn. (laughs) She look like uh, Santa Baby coming down the chimney tonight for me. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, what's that? Hey, what's the last one, CV? What's the last one? Santa baby, the camera down the camera doing Yo, you know what she looked like? Hey, put her picture back up for one second. You Got know you. She looked like. Got you. She looked like one of them twins in the Matrix that was that was in the. Oh, yeah. the albino <laughs> twins in the ma- in the second <laughs> Matrix. She, she looked like an albino boa <laughs> constrictor with braids. Bro, she looked like a Versace belt or something. She like the Versace signal. She looked like Medusa, dog. She looked like she do look like a Versace belt. She looked like the skull emoji, goddamn. When niggas say they dead, nigga, this, oh, this shit. Dead. <laughs> hey, look, like, nigga, respond back with a Madonna face, dead. <laughs> why like is her looked, cheekbones like this, bro? What the she fuck is like going she on? She like human and alien. Hold on, hey. we got one more. I mean, we got one more topic. Oh, that's like saying somebody mixed with like black nigga. They black. They mix with black. You mix with an alien, my nigga. <laughs> she look like she is made out of paper mache. She got a Mardi Gras mask face. <laughs> she do. She look like you know. She look like you know how um damn. What she look like? One of them uh one of them Coco skulls. You ever seen that movie Coco? Oh yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah. The Spanish, the big yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the dead, the, 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 what's it called? The, 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 the dead, the dead, dead. the dead, <laughs> yeah. 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 She looks good. I know for a fact the only part of her face that moves is her bottom lip and jaw. Everything else is like stuck. Look at that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it move again. I'm about to move it again. There, there's a the movement. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh. This is what happened with old white ladies. This is the uh, uh lotto. Mulatto. I ain't gonna lie. But big she looks like head. her face hurt. She looks like her face is in pain. It's so hey. many dick sucking years on them lips. They know exactly what they're doing. She says it three times. stuck in it. Hey. She got all the same shit this, going on. Hey, this is the face of Stunt Light Chuck. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> all right. So this is one. <laughs> There's just one more thing up here that I, I get. I don't really know much about it. Apparently, Paul like Patton went Mighty viral for some fried chicken. Did y'all hear about this? Oh, oh man, go to that horrible. shit, bro. You know. All right, here we go. I, I, I never seen this. Is my first time seeing. This. I know. Boy, it's gonna be triggered. Like, wait, bitch, no. That's how you guys do. We're good now. Okay. Place season. Oh, you gonna put the seasoning on after? And then we're gonna begin the seasoning. So just wait. What? What? Wait a minute. We're this, on this step three. So this is step four. We're on step four. Okay. Now the next process, step five, is the seasoning. So it's just three ingredients that I... Go and throw away that cookbook. Whatever she uses, throw away that cookbook. My fellow white friends and people, can you please explain what is happening in this clip? Because I cannot put my finger on it. It's... She serious. Would you claim this person? Would you claim this person? That's what I want to know. Let me know. Her wingspan so goddamn crazy. Yeah. Like, she like Devin Booker in the kitchen. Velociraptor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, she do. Oh. Yeah. Hey. First seasoning is like chicken. My yes, mother's like, recipe, I, I have like this Lowry seasoning salt. Very it's important. My mother's recipe, Lowry. <laughs> Organic pepper. That's paprika. Organic. I try to do organic when I can. If you can, oh, you know, you know, just do the best of you can. All right. Robin Thicke so had to get the fuck on. Robin Thicke got a better than huh? Each chicken oh, is a real quick thing. Got it. Maybe a little. There we go. We owe Robin wow. Thicke an apology, bro. We That's be taking so these women's side. Like, he ain't right. He ain't right cheating on that woman like that. Nigga, look at the chicken he was eating. Man. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. Yeah, more seconds. Yeah, Who's this? I like it a little salty. I'm gonna go, uh, turn it down a little. I like it a little salty. Yeah. What about the other side, ladies? 
Right. What about the other side? Pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. Boom. Her head looked like one pool ball on a mantle. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, oop, my bad. And back in. That's a good color. No. I'll probably flip it again. Yeah. Because I want this side to get all of the, the spices at the other side. What is it? Right? So, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. No. That's not how that I works. I want her fucking right. canceled. You understand me? Now, I want her fucking canceled. Okay, then she so puts more lorries. The grease is just. You know what? Okay, she fucking the grease up. The grease finna goddamn down. be black. She and finna blacken the grease before the goddamn grease is supposed to be. I think the wings are already burnt. She's burning the food at this point. She's just burning the food. The grease is burning. I think they already burned. I think she already burned them. It's they not even good yet. Yeah, what are you doing? Image. What? You got what? Oh, yeah, oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. Look at the I salmonella. I never oh, saw this part. Oh, my God. Look at Yo. Watch out. Look at that shit, bro. Up, boy. Hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, hey, so it ain't supposed to be medium rare. You know what this is? It's her That's kid disgusting. filming this, trying to show dad. Look what she be trying to cook for us. I'm telling you, dog. <laughs> That's crazy. You gotta bro. get me oh. out of here. Did y'all watch that episode of Atlanta? That the first episode of the season. That's what it yeah, reminded me. Of. Yes. That's what it reminded me of eating that uh, nasty chicken, yeah, bro. Yeah, boy. Damn, boy. White people wow. really think wow. that. We lost her. You that's crazy, bro. That's this is sad. Somebody get Andre three thousand on the phone, talk to her. You know she was in out a while. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is that's sad. Come on, bro. And you don't you don't you bite it? Hey, geez, don't you do it? Oh. oh, that's crazy, bro. Oh, no. man, if you don't get that Republican chicken out of here, <laughs> well, that was the video. Y'all, my first time seeing it, and yeah, I'm just as shocked as y'all. Oh. That was awful. I'm Everything not a about fan. That. I'm no longer a fan ever. Damn. Come on, man. I don't believe nothing in, in black movies you in no more. I don't believe it. You, This is like, tell me you go to private school without telling me you went to private school. That's yeah, crazy, with them goddamn man. eagle shoulders. Fly to the top of the moon. Yeah, man. Right. You got to Google. Sometimes you got to go to YouTube and see what the fuck going on instead of just improv it. You can't do it like a scene. That's, no, crazy, that's not man. like, that's how a wild animal with fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. <that's crazy. laughs> yeah. I ain't never seen no medium rare chicken. That was wild. Bruh. Yeah. That's crazy, dog. Like if you saw a dog standing up at the stove doing that, you'd be like, "Well, damn." Yeah, I guess the dog yeah, yeah, keeps using before. I like my shit little medium. Season, the first two, like, what the fuck? You ain't got a little flower. <laughs> the dog be like, I, 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 "I like my chicken a little medium." You understand, don't you? Like, nigga. <laughs> I wonder what that shit tasted like. Nigga, right. like, oh. like burnt grease. It tastes like burnt like, grease. It, it tastes like kissing Madonna. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. it. No boy, I ain't gonna hold you up. That might be the fattest shit I heard of. But I wonder what it tastes like, nigga. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't. CP is funny, man. And why don't I want to know how the chicken tastes? I don't know. That's disgusting. I need my white friends and, and my white people to let me know what is happening. I, I need explanation. Can't nobody... Um, actually, stand up for her to let me know why she did it. I don't think so. Finally, no boy like me and shit. One of them flat pieces might hit. Like nigga, no. <laughs> hey no, hey no. I got some. I got some big news on some real shit. All jokes aside, <laughs> my KFC Connect told me it's not here in California yet, but KFC is coming out with a hamburger, where they fried a burger nope. in the in the in the th in nope. the thirteen herbs and spices. It's a hamburger nope. at KFC. Nope. Google it if hey. you think I'm lying. Hey, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, why, why the fuck are you in a KFC group chat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a brand deal. My KFC oh, yeah, but it's a burger. It's a burger and it's coming out at KFC. Mark my words. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Look I, I believe you, Dobo. I believe Thank you, you Dean. Thank you, Dean. I Let's believe verify this shit, Dean. Come on, I, man. I believe the man, but you know, like I said, I haven't hit the streets yet, so I might be still a little hit. Basically, hidden. they're coming hey, out with a style very fake sound. I knew about this. In, I knew about this. In hey, hey, let's drop a poll. Go ahead. 
Let's drop a poll right now in the comment section, man. Would you eat Paula Patton's chicken? Yes or no? Are you eating the chicken or are you leaving? Right now in the comment I section. Eat her no pussy now. It's a wrap. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry. Chicken. Chicken. I want to do that something. That's news. Got my goddamn glucose fucking up, nigga. You got you fucking yeah, up my blood yeah. pressure yeah. just hearing the news I'm about that. Telling you, shit nigga. You going on. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Did, hey, did you did you look it up, Kadeem? I'm looking. I'm trying to find. It. I don't see nothing about no, no actual burger yet. I see a new uh spicy new burger loaded with corn chips. I see that. I don't know what that. Ugh, that's is. worse. Just put put KFC hamburger. Why? All right, I'll try KFC hamburger. I'll try KFC burger. Everybody would say KFC. Would you want to get your foot chopped off? If you right. want your foot off, pull up. But while look this up, fellas. I, I know, of course, B. Lou was out there for Roast Me. Doughboy was there. CP, of course, you will not be able to make it for that first run of Roast Me. Ronnie as well. You guys both were there. Y'all wanted to talk about how that first one went for y'all, being back on set. Uh, oh, man, let's talk about it, man. Uh, the first I episode. It. I watched it. That shit. Yeah, watched CP it. watched it. Go ahead, B. Lou. That shit, that shit. The first episode, everyone was excited. I was excited, but, you know, as the episode went on, it was a lot of out of control shouting and not everyone letting the jokes land, but that's to to be expected because um the show wasn't aired in a few years, so everyone got their jitterbugs out their system. So I believe that 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 was the reason why everyone had had, had to find their groove. Everyone had to get comfortable going back to roast me. But um, it was okay. The first episode was okay. Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. All right, well, well, well hold on. I was CP. You watched it, uh, okay? Well, man, the first episode went surprisingly great, bro. I had I had some doubts, man, because I ain't even gonna hold you, man. I feel like CP is uh is that fucking wild card and that fucking spark that I need uh every show because that nigga can like turn dead moments into something. I'm I'm gonna build you up, my nigga. You the, you the best at this shit. This uh, shit is extremely hard, bro. I, I, appreciate you. I, hey, but niggas like, get that shit, though. Hey, don't come back. Right you know here man. Nah, that's fine. Go ahead. Don't, don't coming back off of, uh, you know, man, off, off of a season, bro. He came back, man. He, he had to get his foot in. But I feel like Doe is going to finish strong. Uh, Not saying that he had a bad episode, but I know Doe can be better than what he had on his first episode. Uh, Surprisingly, I'm I'm not surprised, but it's a it's a slight surprise. Brent had the best episode, dog. Brent killed the episode. Oh, bro. nigga, Brent? I'm going to tell you Brent's like amazing. this, bro. Brent's I'm going to tell amazing, you like bro. this. My honest opinion, I can't wait to get back. You know, y'all my brothers. I can't wait to have fun, do what we always do. But I think that Brent is poised for one of those breakout seasons, bro. Yeah. Like, Brent is, you know what I'm saying? Like, put it like this. Remember when, like, we like, oh, man, Dame Lillard kind of cold. Right. Then it was like, Dame Lillard be hitting some shots. Right. It was like, God damn, this nigga Dame Lillard. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's... Then that's you know it's one of these. You know hey, what I'm saying? Bro. Like, nigga, that's what I see when I see Brent, bro. Brent got that, got that, like, nigga, keep my head down, work on my shit, right. figure out my shit, figure out right. my business, figure out my delivery. Brent, bro, Brent is very underrated, man. I see that hey, the thing in the chat. Brent is dope. Put it like this. Brent, probably top three. Brent, I'm gonna tell you my top three niggas I hate roasting against. Everybody else is is curtains, but these niggas, <laughs> you gotta watch your step because, like me. They will take your joke and remix it. Right, you, you know what I'm saying? So Brent, fucking um, Craig, of course, and fucking Boo Capone. Boo Capone, bro. Boo Capone. Boo Capone be like, Boo Capone does this. <laughs> Boo Capone says, they said. That's, that, <laughs> that's his kidding. They said, uh, this nigga used to uh, lick Burger King floors. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, Nigga, that's just that's funny. you know what I'm saying. Man, you know? Not they say, you're like a uh, a thought out catfish. <laughs> right. you know what I'm <laughs> so you know, um, Brent like to catch his rhythm. You know what I'm saying? What's gapping it? What's gapping it? What gapping right. to you? You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, it's no coming back from that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for how good you are, and that's what I like about our crew, nigga. Ain't nobody undefeatable. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, yeah. this is, um, and then Craig is just coming at you from ways. Which I really respect because I do the same thing except I do act outs and I I kind of make it into a story. But Craig will hit you with the punchline to a joke that you never even heard, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? And so it's like you know, everybody else is looking at niggas trying to roast how they look and roast their outfit, and right. you're gonna lose fucking with me with that. You right. know what I'm saying? But 
you know, like those three niggas for those three reasons, very hard to come at. You know what I'm saying? If you get a win, it's gonna be a close win. Like, for example, um uh battlegrounds, right? All three of them niggas crazy on battlegrounds, right? I feel like they couldn't see me on bad news because bad news was all about the story from beginning. Oh, to right. right. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just, you know, that's like, that is just how it goes in the classroom. Though, everything is fair game because right. it's not just you. You can take a breath, let these niggas roast, figure some shit out, pop back in. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, but yeah, bro, it's, it's definitely a science to it, man. I'm so excited to get back, man. They keep throwing all this goddamn money at me. I'm sorry guys, but uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> In New York, make it a TV show. Any event is thing. Any event, bro. I, oh, it's, uh, hey, uh, man. Uh, Doble, you want to talk about it? Being back on stage yeah. and every, or back on set and everything, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Somebody said yeah, Pat. Yeah. Pat is definitely underrated. But Pat is not underrated. Though. People understand how clever Pat is. I feel like, yeah. like Pat, around season three, it was no longer underrated Pat. Pat was going to come through with his style of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Pat has like a, not even trying to roast him, Pat has a mean girl style of roasting. <laughs> like, but no, but not even trying to roast him. I know, right. I know what you mean. Is, hey, Can't well, roast you like the most popular bitch at the school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, hey, that's very well put. You know what I'm saying? He pointed down at you. Someone here's musty. Someone's musty. But like, goddamn, bitch, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you you got to understand how niggas is coming. Yeah, that's true. So, all right, it's my, my first time in the classroom this year, so. I'm ready. Let's get it. I'm hey, they flying in a desk for you, right? They go flying in a helicopter. I was actually watching the first episode to see where I will be placed, and I'm like, how the fuck? They got a, they got a bench it's, for you. But look, I saw the stool. I said, that's CP stool right there. Ain't nobody yeah. in it. Like, they got a they got uh two love seats for y'all too. Shut your ass up. But hey, let me let me talk about uh my. So this had been the first time I had um you know been on all deaf in a minute, man, and it was like. Like the first time being back in the gym after it's been a long time, like it's like oh, <laughs> like I forgot like how quick niggas is like just trying to jump in there. But I'm I'm excited about the season because like you know I think the the fun thing the reason why I have fun on shows like Roast Me is because I know my role in it. Like I'm nowhere near as good of a roaster as any of these niggas, but I'm a target. Like I know how to take a joke and I'm a volume right. shooter. Like I'll go six right. for thirty two, right. but the six gonna hit. Right. <laughs> And you know what else, bro? Yeah. I'll tell you why I like Doughboy in the, in the roast because everybody loves Doughboy. Like off nice. off screen, this nigga is like you remind me of Sully from Monsters Inc. This is like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> big nigga walking there with a water or some kind of uh Arizona. You know what I'm saying? And, you know it's just, but it's like uh, so you challenge niggas to be very creative because niggas, you know, just like Brody, niggas fuck right. with Brody. Right. So niggas, all right, cool, that's my nigga. So how I'm a roast this nigga? Where you know what I'm saying? It's like you know without. You challenge niggas to be creative because niggas is not going to just, I don't want to roast you mean. I want to roast you where you going to laugh. But, bro, y'all no. niggas be so creative, bro. You got to think, bro, I've been fat my whole life. I've been getting roasted about being fat since I was 10. Nigga, I have heard some of the most original big nigga jokes on roast me. It's like niggas be, man, y'all niggas. Be, yeah. I know you niggas just go back eight years do. old and slow down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just, I love the energy. Of the whole shit, man. And I want to give a, a, a honorable a honorable mention. B. Lou might be one of the best hosts I've ever been around. And I've oh, been yeah. around a lot of That's, hosts. The yeah, way he know knows how to control the room, the way he knows how to bring the right nigga in. Like, I seen him backstage. He was like, no, nah, I want him come out. And then the niggas ain't seen. That. I was like, my nigga didn't really turn oh, this yeah. shit up a lot. I'm so proud of this nigga, man. So Bro, shout out to my brother. Niggas don't know. Next time you see the episode, watch B. Lou. B. Lou, like everybody else is reacting to the joke. B. Lou is hunting for the nigga that's hiding. Come yes. on, come on. B. Lou be like, <laughs> he got I hate to do it, hate to do it, hate to do it. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Listen, the last episode of season four, the episode where I got my MVP trophy, right? Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to win. I think we was talking about something, and uh, somebody had mentioned, like, yeah, I think CP going to win, you know, whatever. I remember they was getting on Brody real bad in that episode, and it was Nate, it was um Tut, it was a few new niggas in there, and it was kind of like, man, it was getting irritating for me to watch them niggas roast me because I feel like we the only niggas that could roast that nigga. Like when new niggas come in, they shouldn't be getting off like that. Them niggas are hilarious though. 
But when Thanks. them niggas come in, it's our job to make sure that they do not get off. Now, it's their job right. to make sure they get off. But, nigga, I was a new nigga, and I got off. So, nigga, either you're going to get off or you not. I don't give a fuck who you is. And so when I saw new niggas getting off on, on, on Brody, my feelings was hurt. Mm. I, just, I, just, I just didn't feel like roasting. But I thought I was above getting sent to detention. And so right. this nigga B. Lou was like, eh, I hate to do it, CP. And I was like, I hate to do it. <laughs> and I remember, and I owe niggas an apology. I flipped out. Fuck you, niggas. I mean, right, bro. Right. You think you could do this shit to me? Thanks, bro. Yeah, I fucking lost it. <laughs> that but, was my first time sending my dog to detention, man. Yeah. man. <laughs> I told <laughs> Kev I made more money than him. Kev was like, all right, man, watch this. I was like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, I'll leave it at this, fellas. I did find the KFC hamburger as well. I did find it. You want to finish Come off on, on that? Oh, I, I, think, I think Doughboy was lying. Doughboy know about yeah. all the... All the oh, oh, no, 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 that's it. Glitter yeah, shooting in your mouth. Clean yeah. screen fill. <laughs> yeah, go, back, go, back. go back to Walter White. Why you eat that? You know, damn well you got that damn can. Go back. Go back. All right, I'll go back. Yeah. I knew about this since 2018. Look at this guy. Y'all don't look like yeah. him. Yeah, fucking good. My alopecia's <laughs> New Kentucky Fried Cheeseburger. There it is. 100 percent beef, 11 herbs and spices. He Man. wasn't lying. Man. Not just American for you. That's a lot of calories, man. Come on. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. For you. I ain't gonna lie. I want about four of them bitches. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. I, I'll want. give it a shot. Hey, hey, that was, oh, they can keep that sauce, though. They can keep that. They don't look sauce. done, bro. No. Yeah, nigga, that's a that cheddar sauce. cheese. Like, that, that's not no, American no, cheese. Nigga. That's a fried Turn cheese up, steak. Nigga. That's a they chicken fried steak. Sauce, though. That's nigga, sauce that's a South Berry steak burger. It got batter on it? No, I'm good, fam. I'm good. It's like taking some chicken, but it's pink, bro. That shit pink, bro. They ain't finished cooking it. Yeah, nigga, she pink, too. That's that's the Paula Patton burger. That's nasty, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if this right. I don't know if this racist, but it seems like white people like blood. It just seems like white people like blood, bro. I don't know what hey, it man, is they, about they, that goddamn rest shit, man. Yeah. But, hey, they can Lou, keep, them, they can keep that, they can keep that resin bump burger. They can keep hold on, that B. Lou, bro. you gotta say that on stage, bro. Elaborate <laughs> on that, man. That is that is that is that is set my brain because you absolutely <laughs> right. You right. You're absolutely right. You're right. Hey, hey, B. Lou, I'll leave it at this. I work in the oil field, dog. Every time I went to a steak restaurant with the people, yeah, I want my meat. I want my beef kicking and screaming. Is what they would say. That was Damn, the same thing. Yeah, Kicking and screaming. Like it just left the butcher. I was like, that is that is ridiculous. Graphic I used to, work at, I used to yeah. work at Longhorn in high school, and this man used to come and he wanted his shit Pittsburgh rare. You had to take his fillet, put it on ice, put it in a freezer for 20 minutes, burn it on. He wanted burnt on both sides, raw in the middle. Send it out. Oh, that, <laughs> there you go. B Lou, you got you got something to write about. <laughs> you got it. That's it. That's true, bro. Damn, dog. That's what that whole show Yellow Jackets was about. White people eat blood. That's hey, crazy, so when you worked at Longhorn, did they usually just pay you with steaks? That nigga got 300 steaks for two weeks. That nigga got 300 steaks for two weeks. We got your six ribeyes. They're here. We got you for you. <laughs> I need, I need an advance. Hey, the next been another episode of Roast This. I'm your hey. host, Brandon Lewis. That's Doe J. Simpson. That's comedian CP. And that's Ronnie Jordan. But before we leave, we always leave y'all with what we got going on for each and every week, man. So starting with Ronnie Jordan, man, let the people know, man. Uh, man, officialblessedaf.com. Get your uh, blessed as fuck, you know, hoodies and tees. It's the selfie tee so you can look in the mirror and know you blessed as fuck. Sometimes it ain't for everybody else. It's for you. Uh, yeah, currently, you know, doing punch-ups on the Miss Pat show. And uh, I'll be at NC State tomorrow with uh, Chinadu, Yunaka, and uh, B-Dot, uh, NC State. And then uh, Thursday is my birthday, man. God damn it. God is good. Happy birthday. Birthday. I, had a, I had a hell of a year, man. Hell of a year. My special drop this year. Drop. Ever since they keep your distance, I started rocking with these all deaf boys and goddamn it, niggas throwing me money left and right. So I appreciate it, man. This should have been a dope ass year. So, you know, I took my pandemic year and turned it up. So, you know, we're going to continue on to keep the path going. Shout out to Morning Culture. Y'all keep tapping in the episodes of that. We got to get CP and Doughboy 
on that. We done had a Brandon Lewis episode. It was a great episode. So, you know, yeah. appreciate y'all, brothers, man. Yeah. For sure. For sure. There you go. Shout out to that, man. Hey, Don't J Simpson, a.k.a. Don't Beezy. Let the people know, man. Hey, man, it's good to be back, man. I'm so proud of all you brothers and everybody else at All Def. Um, if y'all want to check me, I got a couple shows coming up. But um, I got um, the Inland Empire. I'm at Celebrities Bar and Grill. I'll be headlining there. And on May 1st, I will be at the Long Beach Laugh Factory with Precious, Lewis, and my brother, Charlie Newhart. So pull up on me, DoJ Simpson, because I'm killing these hoes. I got one, uh, Dosachi. Ooh, Dosachi, I Dosachi. like that. Dosachi. Hey, I forgot Let's I got a show. Me. I got a hey Brandon, I forgot I got a show 420 in Houston, man. 420. Okay, me man. and Keisha Hunt. We at the outside restaurant. Y'all pull up on me, smoke one in Houston. All Keisha the smoke for real. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh last but not least, man. CP, let the people know, man. Uh man, you know, shit, I'm finishing out this week in New York, uh, before I come back to LA for a couple of weeks. And um shit. So y'all already know. If you in New York. I'm at the stand tomorrow. I'm gonna be at Caroline's on Thursday with my brother B. Lou, and then uh, uh, I'm gonna be um, hosting the JFL New Faces Showcase Friday at the stand. Then uh, shit, uh, April fifteenth, I'm back in LA for Los Globos, my show. Um, I got my uh, my Wednesday spot, the workout spot that's popping as soon as I get back. And uh, oh, crack them up! I'm hosting crack them up uh, back at the comedy store when I get back home. Everything is back up, man. And then uh something else. Oh, the CP podcast drops uh 420. Um That's yeah, I'm very, very excited about it, man. I did it right this time. Everybody who rocked with my last podcast, you know, that was me kind of in my garage trying to do some shit. I did it right this time, man. Um it's not, you know, it, it's funny because it's me, but it's really just about conspiracies and shit that I think is cool. It's a chance for us to nerd out in a safe space. It is a palladium for us. So um yeah, that drops on 420, man. And, uh, you know, really, you know, like Ronnie said, man, like this past two years, um, you know, the pandemic was really a blessing for me, man. I had so much stuff going on. And for me to actually sit down and kick it with the bros and be forced to kind of just be at home and create it, open up a whole new world of um, new opportunities, new fans. Um, just And I'm, you know, it's just it's been a complete, complete blessing. So everybody who rocking with C Peeps and all of that, man, I appreciate y'all. And uh, continue to follow us all on this caffeine um app you know our names you know y'all know our names and um yeah i believe that's it man follow us you know and last but not least man i'm your host brandon lewis follow me on instagram at who is brandon lewis make sure you do that right now also follow each and every individual on caffeine minds is big bang lewis that's at ronnie jordan that's at comedian cp and that's at i am doughboy follow shout us right kadeem. now caffeine man shout out kadeem and, uh, always shout out to kadeem he never seen but he's always in between shout out to dean man and last but not least man if you're in new york city this week i will be at carolines with my big bro tony baker man we got five shows one thursday two friday two saturday the saturday shows are sold out and the Friday shows are nearly sold out. So get, get in on that Thursday, man. I'm sorry about that. Get in on that Thursday. Also, follow us right now on All Dev to watch every episode of Roast Me Season 5, the Classroom Edition. Tomorrow's episode will be dropping, uh, I think, it's 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you jump on that tomorrow and each and every Wednesday for the next eight Wednesdays. Watch the replay. Share. <coughs> like. Subscribe. Oh, shit. I'm going out. I'm dying. Oh. But... That's the end of the episode. The ball is tipped. The ball is tipped. We out. Wonderful episode once again. I really enjoyed the Roast Days podcast because sometimes you get you get insights on how they think, current events, and everything like that. And I'm glad they're able to give a recap on the current episode that has happened already. And uh, just to give you a little glimpse that will happen in the future, the episode 5 for Roast Me, that was the best. I must say, if you haven't watched it, go watch it now because to me that was the best episode thus far. But thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Steph Reacts. Peace.